quick word on the first game of the season. Game week one, done. And not a bad start it was for United, to be fair. Not a bad start at all. 5-1 against Leeds. Turned up and smashed them, really. They were never really in it. Well, they might have been in it, really, a little bit, but they were never actually in it. It was just, it was a good game. Great start to the season. Even with players missing, I feel like we were the dominant team. They never really had a chance to win the game. Fans, fans back, stadium's full. Atmosphere looked like it was absolutely rocking. Would have loved to be in there. But yeah, 5-1. Bruno again. Bruno starts to score in. Who else? Of course, he's absolutely unbelievable. Oh, I still can't believe we got a player that good for as cheap as we did. He, he scores first from open play and another one from open play. He gets three from open play. So there's Fernandez with his uh, three hat-trick of open play goals. So not bad at all for Fernandez. Penny Merchant, apparently. But yeah, the hat-trick was great. To be honest, he deserves it. He almost had a hat-trick uh, last season, but it was good. He got his first hat-trick in front of a full crowd at Old Trafford, so you've got to love that. Who else played? Oh, we've, all, we've got good players all around the pitch. Everyone played well, I think. McTominay deserves a mention. I haven't been his biggest fan for a while, but he was he was pretty dominant, pretty dominant the other day. He uh, was controlling the midfield. He was just breaking stuff up, giving it to Pogba, letting Pogba move it on. Pogba as well, obviously, deserves a mention. Obviously, four assists. He can't get much better than that. He should probably should have scored as well. He should have had four assists and a goal, but I think he knew. You saw the look on his face after he missed it. He knew he should have scored, and he definitely should have done. But quality performance, you can't complain, can you? It was just uh, top quality from him, and that's what we need to see from him every week, to be honest. And I hope he doesn't leave. Just hope he signs his contract soon, because uh, we've got a good thing going. We might as well keep on going with him, to be honest. And yeah, it was Fred got the last goal, and he was he was good as well. And he gets a lot of shit. He gets a lot of shit, and from me, I've given him a lot of shit last season. I want him to go. Want him to be on the bench, or not even on the bench, somewhere else, just, just somewhere in another city, somewhere. But he played well. He played well. Broke stuff up. Him and McDominay just buzzing around midfield. It's weird having still having Pogba in that left in that left position because then we've got two. Defensive midfielders and then Bruno and then Pogba as well. So essentially we've got four four midfielders in there. But yeah, it works well. I don't know how it's going to fit when we get all of our attacking players fit and ready because we are we going to still play one or or we expect play two at the defensive midfield and then Pogba in, the, in front of them. But Bruno needs to fit in and then we've got to still have Rashford to come in. But I don't know. Yeah, it was it was that was good. Fred was good. Sancho as well. Sancho came on, got his first minutes, and he looked sharp. He didn't, he didn't do too much, didn't have too much to do, but passing the ball around, moving it around, uh, just connecting with players, getting used to his new teammates and that. So it's all you can ask for, really. And yeah, great reception from the crowd, obviously. It's a sign we've been waiting for for, what, two years? It's great to finally see him in a United shirt, and it does look good on him, to be fair. So I can't wait for his first goal and his first goal contributions, because I'm sure there'll be many this season. I'm sure he's going to do very well. And also on top of that, we had the Varane announcement at the beginning of the game. Well, that was a surprise to me. I saw I saw, saw that was happening, caught him by surprise. It must have caught everyone else in, in the stadium by surprise as well because it was what reception he got. That's a great way to announce a signing, to be fair. The board have been got some shit recently, but to be fair, they've got that one right. Announced it in front of the crowd. He looks good, he looks sharp, obviously in his suit, so yeah. But yeah, can't wait for him to come in. We've still, yeah, 5-1 against Leeds, first game of the season. Can't ask more than that. You can't win the league in the first day. So we just do our best and then try and win. Just get some momentum. But yeah, we've done well there. We've still got players to come in. We've still got Cavani to come back. We've got Sancho to start. Martial was on the bench, got a few minutes. We've still got him to come back. Rashford, should we do back October-ish? More and more players to come back. We've got Varane to slip into uh, defence. Might even make new signings as well. So I think our squad's pretty stacked at the minute, but we still need number six. But I'm not sure if we'll get him this summer. We might do, fingers crossed, but I think yeah, I think we're looking good. I think we can just uh, keep hoping, keep praying, keep playing, keep getting those wins, and then see where we are after 38 games. Hopefully you're at the top. But yeah, that's good. That's on to the next one. Southampton away next. Obviously, yeah, turn up, smash them again. Just keep, keep the wins coming, keep momentum rolling. And yeah, we'll see where we end up. But yeah, happy days. Come on, you Reds.